Hey guys, Simple Coder here, and today we're going to be learning how to link the Firebase uh, platform with Android Studio. First of all, create a, a new project. I've created mine by now and create an empty activity. Don't need to have anything in it, we'll be adding it later. Uh, then go to Gradle Scripts, build Gradle. And in here, you're going to be adding the, some lines. The first of which is this one, which I'm going to clear up. Yeah. Then you're going to be adding this next one. Now, this next one must be after the dependencies. It can't be before or in it. It must be after in the end of the file. Next, grab another line of code which I'm going to be linking down below to my git and you can go in and take anything that you want and add it to this part go to build gradle and uh, next to it it has the name of a project click it it will be here you have a page similar to mine go to um, dependencies and add it below this class path that it's already here okay we're going to be syncing now okay after it is done you'll probably get to this error now is the part that we must go into the firebase uh, site which I have right here go into firebase.com and you'll get to something similar to this click go to console and in here you, you will have all your projects I have some right here but I'm going to create a new one in order for you to understand it better and call it whatever you want Create project. Okay, when it is done, go in and go to project settings. In here, click the add Firebase to your Android app. Okay, now let me close that. Go to your to your project and go to your main activity copy this this package name and add it here you don't need to have to add an app nickname so you can pass that now go here gradle Android and sign in report. Double click it and you'll get this. Now, there's a lot of information here, but you, you only need this SHA1 code. Copy it and place it here in debug signing certificate. Now that it's done, download this google service.json it is really important don't forget it you can download it later but for the time being it is better to get to get it now okay download it too. go in here uh, change to project app Okay, and add this file to the app folder. Don't change anything about it, just keep it like this. Okay, now continue. This part we already did, so you can skip it, and it is basically done. In the next episode, we're going to be talking about login and registration. 
and in the future we're going to be digging a bit deeper to the database and the rules and everything it's really easy we're going to be dumbing down <laughs> that's the term that i was looking for dumbing down everything so that even someone that doesn't understand a lot of coding can do it as well and catch up with everything it is all for now see you later ciao